it can be there as a uh, uh, you know so 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 we 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 get persecuted uh differently uh and in our time when you are in a false or, or a false religion for instance the hyper grace um and prosperity the world loves it you know the world will embrace it the devil does not need to persecute anyone uh so this is why people will come with this thing we are not a religion we're a relationship people want to but as soon as you preach the truth as soon as you preach repentance soon as you preach these things that people don't want and as soon as you stand in you know uh you are going to be called names judgmental whenever you're going to be you're going to be discriminated uh you're not going to be on tv like all these guys you're not going to be even socially you're going to be awkward people won't accept you uh you won't get promoted people are going to be you know people are going to treat you somehow somewhere you're going to know that some of the things that are happening is because of my faith or because i'm refusing um, to can you guys hear me yes i lost you there sorry oscar was it just only oh. me yes it was just you yeah so there's all these different kinds of persecutions that you know they will this is why jesus said that many um will turn even after the seed has been laid but because they are like that seed that fell on the rocks or the or is it is it the rocks or the or the thorns but when troubles come you know uh they fall away and you know, sometimes it's just demonic activities that God has allowed uh, to test your faith, you know, and you're going through certain things that you know these things are only coming to you uh, because you're a, you a Christian, you know. Uh, ever since you became a Christian, things became like this. And people will be telling you, hey, you know what, you, you, are, you are following these things of white people. You know, come follow your African religions. You need to go cleanse. You need to do whatever, you know. Or to go to these semi-churches, these quasi-Christian churches, the ZCCs, where they also do this thing. Or to go to some other false church where they claim they can help you. You know that it's a false church. You know it's a false religion. You know, now you're going to leave uh, a Bible teaching church uh, you want miracles, you want whatever, because they, in that church, they are doing miracles, but they are also eating grass and doing things, funny things. You can see that something is wrong, but you want to leave this year because it's tough year. We are not doing miracles. We are not doing, you know, instant healings. You want to go to where they claim that they've got power to bind, you know, um, Because things are tough, you know, you need to show your faith, you know, um, and endure, you know. If God allowed this, he might just be testing your, your, your faith. Your faith will be tested. God will always test your faith, you know. But if you endure, there's always good rewards, even in this lifetime. But do not lose hope. Show your faith uh, of this substance, uh, the things that you're hoping for. You don't see that kingdom. You be you're hopeless when you are when you're not thinking. By the way, one day we'll discuss that word hope. It's not what what we usually use it for. But for now, I'm just saying. Well, yeah, the persecution might not be as bad as in China and other places, but it is because as soon as you stand in your your ground for true faith. You're gonna have very few followers, very few friends, even in social media. You'll post something, nobody's gonna care about it. But but the false ones are gonna have everything, and then you're gonna be tempted to want to follow, to want to um uh to 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 be in a safer environment by doing the things that make you 
feel safer. Okay, let me not talk too much because it's your turn, guys. No, Brother Oscar, you can continue because we really need to be encouraged because I, I'm sure many of us here in this platform can tell that the modern day gospel is for us to seek comfort. And at times, many a times, that comfort comes at a cost. It comes at a price. You know, um, like you were saying, either to mix really, and it's it's we're living in very dangerous times where there is a, a, a silk thread um, a, a, a separation or, or differentiation between the gospel and, and um, a, a many of us now, New Age, NAR, um, I mean, NAR, and, and, and a whole lot. And the, the elite and, and the educated, you know, um, it's, it's just going to be so hard to enter the kingdom of God, as you are saying. Um, so don't uh, and hold back in terms of encouraging us because at the end of the day, you know, you would have exhorted us in word and also encouraged us, you know, because mm. I don't think it's all of us who have um, the privilege of, church or, or, or like a, a, a good Bible preaching church, if I can put it like that. So so you find that by coming here, it's the only opportunity for, 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 for some of us here to really get good, solid word with historical background. Praise God. Because there is Oh, uh, guys, can you still hear Porsche? Because uh, I've lost. It's breaking. You know, it's, breaking. it's breaking terribly. Uh, Porsche, Porsche, if you can hear me, your 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 line is breaking. We can't hear anything. Eh? Okay, I hope I hope you got the message. Uh, anybody else with them? Um, anything to add? Anybody else? Yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, I I, I loved um, delving into this. Um, I think the scary part is when you realize. Um, the scary part is when you realize how tough the 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 the, the road ahead is. Because if you, if I mean, if you think back, if people like Peter who lived with Christ daily and had access to Him on the you know, during Christ's last days, um, you know, they turned, uh, he turned his back on Him, even though it was momentarily. I mean, Tina, it, it it gets even harder because you try and you you know um, you find your path and you navigate, you know, this. Um, journey and you try and you piece together what you can through these various platforms like Bible study. So yeah, it's it's something to think about. I think sometimes you think when you are not in a situation, especially that, you know, when you play with these different scenarios, should this happen? This is how I'll react. But unfortunately, up until you are in that situation, you don't know how you will react. But you pray that um, should that um, situation come, you are equipped to handle it the best way you know how, and um, you don't basically deviate from, you know, the part that is ahead of you. So yeah, thank you so much, Oscar, and just for everybody and your comments and everything. Right, thank you. Uh, anybody else? Questions? Going once, going twice. Hi, hi, Oscar. <laughs> Uh, evening everybody mm -hmm. I had a question I thought I'll ask you in private but anyway you will say our sins are forgiven like now that we are under the new covenant yeah so not to live in condemnation and so forth if I tied up with what you said last week as well mm -hmm. but then now 
Can you sin? I mean, if you like, obviously, you know, this is wrong and you do it. Are you also forgiven from the, for, for, from that? Can you hear me? Not really. I, I, I didn't get the last part. Mm -hmm. I know, I was just saying, I mean, you're you you asking, it, can we say we're forgiven if, if, if we sin willfully and? Yeah, knowingly. Oh. Yeah. And then you do wrong and then you, you like, you're still forgiven. Is that how it goes? I mean, which sin do you, do you, I mean, most of the sins that we do, we, we, we do them knowingly. Yes, it. Yeah, and forgiveness is not based. Remember, remember, even in Hebrews here, yeah, it speaks about um that the about about offering for the sins that were committed unknowingly. So mm. the usual sins that that we that we that we um that are forgiven. I mean, it's the thing that we know and knowing. That's why there's a law. Because the law tells you do not lie. Immediately when you lie, you know that lying is wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, and you, you, you lied knowing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I can say it's, it's, it's mostly for that. Uh, but the thing is, uh, when, when are sins forgiven? That's I think that's where the key is. Things sins are forgiven when someone repents. Mm. You know, when people mm. repent, when, when you go before, when when then you are repenting, this is when your sins are forgiven. Uh, okay. and you know, obviously you you remorse and you are you know you are at it. And you might even still make mistakes a, a few times, but there's people who justify and they're not remorseful, they're not repentant. You know, they justify mm. why they're doing it. Mm. You know, uh, I'm in this situation, what else can I do? What do you expect, you know? And they do that uh, and you know, and this is where this license to sin thing comes in. Mm -hmm. And another thing, another thing on top of this, something that we have learned wrong, I don't know if you guys also learned the same thing. This thing of Joseph Prince also preaches this. Your, your past, present, and future sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's another, excuse me, it's another false teaching. So people tend to believe that uh, once you once you want to they use the words accept Jesus, your past, present, and future sins are forgiven, and they say you want to have forgiven. So even when you see it in the future, I mean that's hyper grace. It's actually hyper grace. So this is why we continually repent, but although our high priest went to the Holy of Holies once and for, for all, uh, we are sure that when we ask for forgiveness, He's faithful to forgive us when we repent. Okay, no, thank you. Amen. I just want to add on what Brother Oscar is saying, that repentance is a lifestyle of a believer, and I, it's exactly what Brother Oscar is saying. We've been taught that once we say the sinner's prayer, you know, our past, present, and future sins are forgiven. And that is contrary to the to scripture because scripture tells us that people who came from Egypt, and, and this is in met metaphoric, okay, this is literal in a sense that people who left Egypt, they were delivered and saved from there. But they died um, before entering the promised land because they didn't continue in faith. They they converted other nations. They went after the Baals and the Ashtoreths. And um, it, it, same as us, if we 
because we said a sinner's prayer um once in talk with God, we're not even sure that really we because our lives are testifying against us, you know, saying no, you you can't be able because the spirit of God is there to strengthen us in what uh salvation we have received. And um and, and we're not just saved because we said the sinner's prayer it's because we repented we um acknowledge that indeed we are sinners we continue to sin but we don't continue to sin deliberately now um and you would know this that once you commit a sin your heart is very sorrowful you mourn that sin you repent before the lord and um also grace is to to help us in 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 fulfilling uh, the commands of God, so grace is is not just you know say a grace. It's all like Paul is saying: should we sin? Say because grace abounds. Grace helps us uh, to to keep repenting, um, and that is why even if you haven't committed any sin that you are aware of, we know that we fall short. And we we repent as such. We we mortify the members of our bodies. So we keep repenting until we get home or until the Lord returns. Oh, thank you, Ms. Question. Yeah, hundred percent. Anyone? Anyone else? Uh, who hasn't spoken? Mikabe? Oh, maybe she is. Okay, guys, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, Sister Le, we may as well close for us in prayer. And yeah, and Nick, you can stop the recording. <laughs>